welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your life coach astrologer, Cindy. So today's topic is about the full moon in Capricorn on the 13th of July. Tomorrow I plan to do a meditation where we are transmuting the energies or any blockages that you might have within the, the constellation of Capricorn. Okay, so I have noticed certain people um, who tend to, who are born with sun in Capricorn, every time the sun rolls into Capricorn, like everything that can go bad goes bad for them because um, they have big ego problems and problems with their father. So let's get down into what is Capricorn? What is the moon? Okay. Okay, so Capricorn. This is the energy of your, your relationships with father and authoritative figures, government officials. Um, it has to do with your fame out in the world, responsibilities, especially to that of career. Um, also that not just, um, it is not just about your fame out in the world, but also being defaming people, okay, or, or losing your reputation. Okay, so <clears throat> the full moon. Okay, so let me explain to you. The moon has to do with your emotions. It represents women and mother figures in your life. It represents your family. Okay, so... If you were born with the moon in Capricorn, then you probably want to join me tomorrow live. I will put a link in the description box below of a Zoom um, um, free live webinar. And then I'm going to post it the next day on YouTube. But free live webinar because after the meditation, which this time shouldn't last as long as the other one, the... Um, this should be perhaps um, 15 to 20 minute meditation, but this is what uh, you need to know about the full moon. Okay, if you have blockages with your mother, with family members, uh, with your father, <laughs> if you have anger, hatred, resentment, well, you're going to want to join me tomorrow because I'm going to help you release this for free. Okay, and um, release your blockages, um, help you to forgive. So we're going to bring down, transmute the energy, and I'm going to be trying to help you visualize. I will be guiding you. So it won't be actually uh, me, though my, my chi energy will be playing a part in it, but you are your own savior, just to let you know that you are your own savior. You're the one who's manifesting and transmuting and letting go. Okay, so if you have problems with authoritative figures, if you were thrown in jail, if you've been, you know, if you have anger problems with your father, bosses, you're going to want to join me tomorrow to transmute, release, and heal. Why is it important to transmute, heal, all of that. And also, a lot of people have problems with the government right now. A lot of people have anger and hatred towards, um, there's a lot of things going out there. I don't like to uh, let myself get dragged down. I do not watch the news anymore. I do not allow the news to create my matrix. I don't watch fear-based news. Nope. <laughs> okay, so... If you have any kind of anger issues um, towards politicians and all that's been going on in the world, you're going to want to transmute this. And I'm going to let you know why. Because when you have dark energy in a constellation, it's like having one bad rotten apple in the bag and that bad rotten apple tends to rot the other apple. So if you have bad energy with either your father, with bosses, hating the government, and you know, all of that, 
Well, you're going to start to see some negative vibes happening in your career or you losing your reputation in front of the world or you not, if you are a YouTuber, you're going to have problems having followers, people, you're, you're going to have problems being famous, okay? You're going to have problems in your career or your relationship with your father or bosses. Okay, so this is... Um, I have seen this. I have seen this. I'm. I am experienced. I'm a very experienced now uh, astrologer, and I have seen a lot. Okay. And when you heal and transmute and forgive, you see, you start to see doors open up for you to be blessed in your career. And for you to have a better matrix with your relationship with bosses or father figures or your or your um your fame out in the world, you, um, you can help heal your reputation. Okay, so if you have like really bad energy in Capricorn, then you're definitely going to notice. Okay, and if your moon, if you were born with a moon in Capricorn. And you're going to notice, oh, I'm having problems at home with my family. I'm and the and yeah, it's just all these problems stack up and you start to go crazy. Now, also another thing about this full moon is it's not a good time to ask authorities for favors because Pluto is here. And if you ask any authorities for favors at the moment, they're going to be like, what can you do for me? And they're just going to manipulate you with that Pluto energy here. For those who have done the inner work, for those who have done the inner work and are all about releasing and healing and forgiving, then their career is going to skyrocket. They're going to become famous. They're going to start manifesting like the planets are on steroids, there's they're going to get a push in the right direction. They're going to start meeting famous people, and um, especially if you have your North Node in Capricorn. <laughs> I happen to have my North Node and Jupiter in Capricorn, and when I was younger, I kept meeting meeting a lot of famous people, and um, and so I had to heal my Jupiter because I Jupiter represents the husband, and I was. Um, I divorced, and so I had to heal that, okay? So I had to heal a lot of stuff in the energy of Capricorn, and I and strangely, I kept dating Capricorn men or men who worked for the government, very <laughs> strangely, but now I have, I have been doing a lot of inner work and healing, and so, yeah, so if you want to, if you want to uh, work on your Capricorn energy, this is going to be really good. Because you're making room for the chi energy within your DNA to be upgraded in that that has to do with Capricorn. Even even though Pluto, Pluto, Pluto is um, the negative energy. If it's if it's low vibrational energy within your DNA, Pluto can be manipulative. But if you are vibrating highly, then Pluto can be someone whose kundalini is turned on, where you're meeting bosses who are enlightened, where you're meeting authoritative figures who are enlightened, okay? So do you see the difference? And uh, in order to, to see astrology through like a fire phoenix vision, you have to have healed all your constellations or in the path of healing all your constellations and you can see more you can see where a person is whether whether their vibration is really low because their um, fathers are manipulate manipulating them or so or whether their father is like having a great awakening so for some um, you may see, you may be meeting, if your vibrations are really high, you may be, um, your career is boosting in regards to uh, uh, 
teaching people about mystical things, okay? Especially because Mercury is now in Cancer and aspecting, aspecting seven constellations away, which is Capricorn. So you may be talking to authoritative figures about the mystical world or mysticism or anything that has to do with spirituality or so. Because the, the higher energy of Pluto, because P Pluto, the lower vibration of Pluto is death, okay? And the higher vibration of Pluto is transformation, it is about, and it's conjuncting, Pluto is in Capricorn, conjuncting this full moon. So either you're seeing that your boss is trying to manipulate you, you asked the wrong time for a favor or so, or you are seeing um, that um, your boss or some authoritative figure is very enlightened, or you go through a transformative time, um, some kind of transformative time that has to do with your career. Your career is like um, ha one, it's changing. There's like, you're leaving one way of, uh, you're leaving that old paradigm career, that nine to five job out, and you're deciding to create your career, to manifest your career, and you decide to manifest your fame out in the world. But to do that, to do that, you have to clear the baggage and the blockages of you, your energetic body towards your family members, okay? Or your father or authoritative figures or bosses or government. That has to be cleaned and clear. There is a bubble of energy between you and each individual and you and each idea, okay? And you have to transmute that energy. So join me tomorrow and we can work on this together. And if I've left out anything, I hope I didn't leave out anything. And uh, yeah, so we will work on this together tomorrow for free. Check out the um, description box. I will have the Zoom link or... Friend me on Facebook and the Zoom link will be there, but I think I can put it in the description box. So hugs and kisses. Bye. Peace.